Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And all of you know I'm hyping up all the Udemy stuff, but that's going to be coming pretty soon. So there you go. But uh, in this video, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to add a function in game that allows us to kind of separate the whole movement thing within that function so we don't have to do all this also one for the poll events um, and to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some functions here void update poll events there we go and then void update player or update input because we can do other input in there that's gonna be good always good to separate things like this and let's do this. And this isn't anything SFML specific. Obviously, this is more about just, you know, dividing your program up into different classes and different types of functions. I'm going to put the whole move player thing in here. Good. And don't forget to call these here as well. This update poll event. So you know what's going on. This, uh, this update input and now these are going to be called so we don't have to really look into these a lot but these are gonna be called in here and we're going to render everything just as usual no issues the next step is going to be to create a bullet class now you don't have to do this in this case but i want to do it just for you guys sake too because i know you guys like to uh divide stuff up right so i'm just going to call it bullet you don't have to press this in. What is this crap spam shit? Anyway, bullet. There you go. Virtual destructor. You don't have to click that in, but I do. Uh, so if you want to inherit something from uh, this class, uh, there we go. All right. So you have your bullet class. Also for my code blocks users who don't use uh, all the visual, new visual stuff, I'm going to do this. If and def bullet h define bullet h good very simple very simple good 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 a bullet is going to consist of what is it going to consist of let's think it's going to consist of some sfml stuff all right and these things are going to pretty much be let's use iStream as well uh, let's copy this in here there we go so these things are going to be all you need is graphics, actually. For example, a sprite. We could use a sprite for the bullets if you want to. I know you guys want it, right? Um, so I'll show you. This is a good way to show you as well. We'll use a sprite instead of a, what do you call it? A rectangle shape or a circle shape to just shoot out some balls. You know, we, we'd rather have a texture on it. So sprite uh, shape. And this is going to be a SF sprite no hold on why is that not working sf sprite there we go shape and a sf texture pointer texture okay and these two things are very important because your texture is not going to be loaded every time you create a bullet you don't want to do this and that's why i'm taking this important part of of making this bullet this way to show you how you're supposed to do when you're creating lots of bullets at once and you have low you're loading textures from your hard drive each time you're creating a bullet that's horrible optimization it's not going to work for you so what you want to do is this way you want to create a texture pointer and a shape a sprite or you could have a rectangle shape here if you wanted to but we're going to keep it like this and we're going to say private like that I don't really have a texture right now for this video but we're just gonna set this class up first and then we're gonna go ahead and work with the, the other stuff uh, obviously we want some void update all right and want a void render SF render target pointer target good good very nice very nice probably gonna need more stuff in here but the idea is to create these bullets and create them, you know, very quickly, create lots of them 
and just update them, move them in any direction. Good, good, good. Um, so the direction part is also very important. What you want is a SF vector 2F direction. All right, SF, uh, no, or just a float movement speed. Good, good. And how are we going to create a bullet? Now, this is the important part. You want to make sure you create the bullet with a texture first. SF texture pointer texture. Then you want to make sure it has a, uh, a SF vector 2F. Or we'll have a float uh, direction X, float direction Y. And we'll have a movement speed to the flow movement sp speed good 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 and since they are local variables i'm just going to write them like this you can do any type of formatting here you want uh, what i usually do is i have underscore if it's a local variable and i have you know this type of thing where it's a class member or whatever so usually i do that i, I don't know whatever you guys want to do you can do uh, if you're using, I'm still using this, so it won't really matter. I'm still using this this pointer thing. Remember this? So they kind of have the same name. So that's not why I'm doing this. Uh, anyway, we have this. And then we want a default constructor as well for now. Bullet. Like that. And that's just going to be very, very, very empty. I'll leave it at that. Doesn't matter. This is what we want to do. So this texture equals texture actually you know you know what you know what we can do we don't need to save the texture in here actually we can just have the sprite and set the texture from outside that's actually a better thing if you would want to save the texture you can do it in here all right just like i was about to do but you know we're not going to do that this sprite all right uh no this shape dot set texture Texture. The reference that. Uh, to make it easier, we could just make this a reference instead. Do that in the H file as well. Just a little reference, because we're still not gonna. We don't need it as a pointer directly, so we'll keep it like that. Uh, good. Uh, and direction x. This direction dot x equals dir x. This direction dot y equals their y. This movement speed equals movement speed. So make sure these are the correct ones that you're putting here. So you're not setting this to itself. So you're making sure you're using the local variable in here. And then we have some information saved in our bullet class. And I'm am I even recording right now? Okay, we're good. Uh, very nice. Very nice. We have some information. We don't need to delete anything here per se. Uh, whatever. We'll keep this empty. We don't really need that. Updating is very nice. So this is going to update my movement. And how do we move it? Well, our shape is what we're going to move, right? So this shape that move. That's all we need to do. This movement speed multiplied by this direction and that is a vector 2f so it's cool we can just multiply the whole vector 2f with the movement speed and shove it in here so it's gonna it's gonna be both of these multiplied by the movement speed and that's gonna move our beautiful little bullet along here that's pretty much all we need you know the texture itself is whatever you can set another uh, vector 2f for scale here if you want to rescale these or whatever uh, but I'm not going to have to do that, I think. Uh, I just do want to render this, though. So, target. Dot draw. This shape. Pretty much what we want to do. And the player rendering is also there. Okay. And the bullet rendering is there. Very nice. Very nice. So, I just want to make sure, since I don't have a texture for the bullet right now I'm not gonna do anything with it but I'm gonna set this up so we can we can see how this works uh, we have our player here we have our window here and we're gonna have some resources here 
And this is usually how you do. You have your game class. You have some kind of class. You can even have some kind of texture holder class. But that is going to handle all your textures. And the way that works. Also, why am I using pragma once in all of these? I'm sorry about that, guys. You can just change that to if not defined, like this type of thing here. I'll fix that for the next video. Um, but that's good. So before we end the video, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to include std or just what am I doing? Include map. Okay. And we're going to use a map for this std map uh, textures. Okay. And we're going to create a little private function here. Uh, SF. Let's see, what is it going to be? STD string SF texture like that. That should work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what a map is, is a C++ construct container class, which kind of maps two things together. So for each string, there's going to be a texture. So when I add something to this array here, we're going to add it by first adding a string called maybe player texture. And then with that on the same spot, it's going to be a texture for that. So we can easily access things without having to create enumerations. We can just write textures at position player texture. It's going to pop up the correct one. That's why I have a map here. Uh, before ending the video, like I said, what I'm going to do is in it textures where I'm going to load all the textures I need in this game. And I'm just going to define that right there. So very good. And as an example, what you would do, you do this uh, textures dot. And then you can see everything you got here. All right. We, we're just going to add something in here. So we're just going to insert something. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to get to that in the next video. For this video, we're pretty much done. Um, and thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Right. Bye bye.